Well, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, today I wanted to take a look around. I've been out here in the garage, nosing around. You know, I've got a lot of parts out here, and they're waiting, some of them, assuming they fit, assuming I like them. I don't know, but they're waiting for the 2020 Tacoma. We've got the 2018 up there, right there, on the lift up behind me, but it's becoming kind of a parts graveyard out here. You know, I've taken a lot of stuff, mods that I had done to the 2018 up there, and I've kind of put them in storage, if you call this storage, waiting for uh, the new truck to arrive so I can install some of these or maybe do some giveaways or maybe sell some of them. It depends. Of course, there'll be many new things coming that I don't even have yet, but I thought, you know, it'd be interesting to take a look around, see what's laying around out here. So the biggest thing and the most uh, room uh, utilizing parts are, of course, the wheels and tires. Uh, these are fuel wheels. They're 20 inch fuel ANSYs and they're wrapped in a Nitto Ridge Grappler. You guys can see, and a lot of people ask me what I had on the truck. They're 275 60R20s. Take a look top here you can kind of see the width there's my hand they're not too wide but uh, that's kind of because I had a UCA problem with the bigger ones that I had over here originally on the truck so we've got these sitting here just desperately waiting and here's a little tip for you if you're storing tires you know if you've ever had a vehicle sit for a long time and then you take it out you kind of feel like a thump 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 when you first drive it that's because the tires get flat spots on them. They're just rubber, right? So if you leave them sit a long time, you need to rotate them once in a while so that they don't develop flat spots while you're storing them. And you also want to keep them in a dry place. They are rubber, and of course, rubber over time will rot. So ideally, you'd have them up in the air. I don't have a way to do that here, but up in the air off of the ground. Um, just a little tip for you there. But there's the first thing. Now, up here, we have the uh, all-weather floor mats sitting up there in a box. You know what floor mats look like. Uh, they're waiting for the 2020, of course. Um, there's the old uh, side steps for the Tacoma, by the way. Those will not be going on the 2020 Tacoma. Right here, beaming out, and I love the way this looks, but I think, and I haven't decided yet, I think I'm going to change the, uh, the TRD lettering in here to blue, voodoo blue to match the Tacoma, uh, the, the color of the Tacoma that I'm gonna get, which is voodoo blue. I haven't decided yet because this red really does pop and it looked really cool on the front of the red Tacoma up there, and this is Barcelona red, but I'm not quite sure how it will look on voodoo blue. I don't know if it will clash um, or might just look better if it were blue. And of course, you can change the inserts on here. I'm actually, going to get a hold of Tough Skins and see if they have anything for this because that's who I use for this kind of stuff. But that's the skid plate and this is of course the painted skid plate that I had done um, as a mod before. And if you're curious, this is what I used. It's just a uh, Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. That's what my skid plate is painted in. And it held up really well. A couple of little chips and things, but you can't even see them. They're so minor. Now, down there, behind that skid plate, are the Predator sidesteps, or running boards, whatever you want to call them. They're sitting there, again, waiting for the 2020. You can see they are obviously no longer on the Tacoma up there. I did remove them. I didn't see any reason to leave them on the truck. Uh, to be honest with you, I really haven't decided whether or not I'm going to put them on the new truck. Uh, I really kind of like the look without but I'm not totally opposed to having them on. So I think I'm gonna to have to put them on and see how it looks once I have the truck lifted and the tires and all that stuff put on. Um, and then I'll make that decision. If, uh, if I don't end up using them, I'll probably sell those. Maybe there'll be a giveaway. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, but as of now, the plans are to, uh, to put those on and, uh, and see how they look. Uh, down here at the end of the garage, and hopefully the light doesn't wash out, you can see we have the bed mat uh, sitting there awaiting, all nice and rolled up. It actually wasn't in the Tacoma too long, um, because I hadn't had it that long before I decided that I was going to go to the new truck. So we've got that waiting. It, of course, is going to be uh, put in the bed of the new Tacoma, no doubt. 
unless they change something drastically and it won't fit. Uh, I can't imagine that that would be the case, but we'll see. Uh, down here, uh, down below, and I know it's in a box, but right back there, that is the uh, light bar that I had installed in the grill of the 2018. That, of course, is going to go into the 2020 once I get that. Uh, I love the way that thing looks. I think it's awesome. Uh, in the box here are the Raptor style lights uh, that I had in the grill. And that was a pro grill. And that's another thing. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a pro grill. I shouldn't say get one. I have a pro grill uh, that was in my old Tacoma up there. And I'll be curious to see if that fits. I don't believe uh, Toyota has changed the frame or the structure of the truck. But they could have changed some of those little pinned points um, that the truck has where you would uh, attach the grill. So we're going to have to pull the OEM grill once I have the truck and see if everything lines up and I can put that pro grill in. Again, I'm assuming it will fit and hopefully it will because I can then use those Raptor style lights. And people hate when you call them those Raptor style lights. But that's what they are and that's what everybody knows them as. So we're going to put that hopefully on the front of the truck as well there is a different style out there uh, i may try those i'm not sure yet uh so we'll see uh now one other thing or actually a couple other things you guys can see up here we have and you can see the red of it right there that is the trd cold air intake this is actually the oem intake from the tundra because it has a trd intake in it as well but this is the TRD cold air intake for the Tacoma. Of course, it came out of the 2018. And that, again, we're going to try to put that into the, the 2020. Uh, I'm assuming it'll fit. Uh, it's the same engine, so I can't imagine that they changed anything. And the one thing that's gonna be interesting about doing these, some of these repeat mods, if you will, um, is to see if indeed Toyota has started to change any of the structure of the truck in preparation for the next gen because obviously they're going to have to do that and i know a lot of manufacturers do make little subtle changes as they go in preparation for the next version so it'll be very curious to me anyway to see if that's the case um the last thing that uh, that i can think of that's sitting around right here uh are the speakers and i have those actually in the house um, so that they're protected Obviously, speakers can be rather fragile, and I don't want them to get damaged by, you know, something hitting them or anything like that in the garage. So we have those put away. Those are the, I believe they're six by nine door speakers that I recently uh, took out of the Tacoma up there, put it back to stock. I put the OEM speakers back in. So hopefully those will fit. They are kicker speakers. I love the sound in the truck, the setup that I had before with the kicker tweeters and speakers. Speaking of the, or door speakers, I should say. And speaking of speakers, um, I do have the kicker speakers that were in the Tacoma back here. The kickers, uh, those are, have been removed. And they will be going back into the new truck as well, assuming that they fit. Um, going to be a lot of stuff on the channel to either sell or give away uh, if these things don't fit. So stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you hit that notification bell because when these giveaways come up I do them rather quickly and if you're interested in maybe picking some, something up that way or or even maybe buying something that may not fit uh, you'll want to know because it will be announced uh, in videos on the channel so anyway I just wanted to do a little uh, inventory show you guys what I've got sitting around things that I had taken off the Tacoma back there and uh, are awaiting the arrival of the 2020 uh, there will be, as I mentioned, new things going on. Uh, the biggest thing that I can think of right now is going to be a bed rack. We're going to put a bed rack on that truck. And I want to mount the spare tire on top of that bed rack. I love the look of that. Um, and it makes it much easier to, to, to access, rather, if, uh, if you need it. Right now, if you're out and it's crappy conditions and you need to get to that spare tire, it's under the truck. You got to do all these things to get it out and i'm not digging that so i'd like to have it on top and again i like the look so that's that's one of the things one of the new things that i have planned for the upcoming 
2020. There are other things, but you'll have to stay tuned to see. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think of my inventory of parts here, uh, what I'm holding on to, and uh, my plans for the, the spare tire mount. I think that should be pretty cool. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.